Hey, welcome back guys. Um, today we are going to be looking at some GT styling headlight covers. Also got the side covers here. Um, I got them in the carbon fiber is what they call it. It's not, it's not real carbon fiber, but uh, that's a carbon fiber look instead of the smoke look. So I'm a little bit iffy on if I'm going to like these. Uh, so I'm excited to get these unboxed. Um, got one for the front, two headlights and a side. I did see some bad reviews about the, uh, the these right here because they say you can see the, I guess, the way they stick on. So I might be messing around with those and try to figure out a good way to install them. But the headlight should just pop right on. One of the reasons I got the carbon fiber is because I, I really like the look of the headlights. So I, with the carbon fiber, it wasn't totally smoked, so you can kind of still see the, um, the lights. So that's what I'm hoping is that it's going to give that look to where I can still see the actual uh, integrity of the light. So these are kind of box, no, just a box, uh, and they're wrapped here. So that's kind of interesting. Let's see what we got. Yep. So you see this look right here. They call that a carbon fiber uh, look. So it's not totally smoked. So we're going to pop these on. They should just pop right on and uh, see what they look like. Make sure you clean your light before you put this on. And then the way that they say they're just supposed to push right in. So I'm going to start this. I want to put these two little, well not clips, but just basically it's using just pressure to keep these in here. So I'm going to put that side in first, put this side in. And basically you're just supposed to push it in. Let's make sure it's nice and tight. Hopefully it doesn't fall out. So that's it. Now let's take a look. Let's see what these things look like. So those uh, were the GT0644X, uh, it's by GTS or GT Styling, um, and it's the carbon fiber headlight covers, two piece. So now we're on to the GTO645TX by GT Styling, and these are supposed to be for the sides here, so let's open those up. And like I said, there were some bad reviews on this so this might take me some more time to try to figure out the best way to install these but and the main reason is because they could see um, you could see the stickers I guess that hold the lights on or the uh, 3M product probably is what they're using to be able to hold these on so let's see what's in here once again just in a box uh, with the product itself no fancy box here we go. Yep, as you can see, so it is a 3M product, and you can see where it's right here, and it's going to be on this light. So I will probably uh, redesign that. Um, so I might have to buy some of my own 3M product. Oops, that's the wrong side. So I think it should be done. Maybe you should be able to get these on here without having to put that product right there. So. I'm gonna mess around with that and you can see that right there. See how ugly that is? So I'm gonna do some evaluating here and figure out if there's a different way. Maybe we can put some of that product on the side and just have maybe a strip on each side. Um, and I'll uh, let you guys know what that looks like. So this is a 3M a double lock tape. Let's see if I can get that to focus in there and I'll be able to here at night. There's basically 3M double locks, what it says. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take this off and I'm going to stick it on here to see if that gives us a difference. And as you can see, it looks a little bit better. And actually, in the camera, you probably can't see it very well, uh, but it actually still looks really bad. So you can still see it. Um, so, what I'm hoping to do is, since I know that you can see it, I'm hoping to maybe connected here and maybe here 
instead of just being straight in the middle of the light. So I, like I said, I have the same double lock tape on order, so I could just cut it to exactly what I wanted. Um, so when I get that, I will be posting that and or recording that and let you guys uh, see what that looks like and hopefully give you some ideas. I think most people that have bought the carbon fiber of these covers has probably just sent them back because they look so bad. So hopefully I'll give you some good ideas to be able to keep them. All right, so we are back. Um, as I told you all last time, I was going to try to come up with a new way to get these on here. As you can see, as I described, I was going to put a strip here, strip there, strip there of the 3M dual lock. I had to buy this on Amazon. That's a 3M dual lock. I think it was like 15 bucks. I'll use it for other things also. And I've already cut out strips. And I'll show you here. So I just got three little strips I put on there. I got them to blend in right with the lights, which as you saw before, the other ones were just right in the middle of the light. So and this will just pop right back on there and that just interlocks. Try and do this holding the camera and then lock it to the side. And as you can see, it's just an adhesive that holds to both items, the cover and the light. And then over here, I've already cut them. I'll just be putting them on here first and then here and then here. And then uh, once I have that, then I'll put the cover on top of that um, to kind of seal it in and make sure it's tight. Here we go. Here's the finished product. Actually looks really good. I'm gonna turn on the headlights. You might not be able to tell much, but let me go turn those on. I appreciate you guys watching. Here's some uh, pictures of before and then after, and then some close-ups. Um, there's not much content online that I could find about these carbon fiber looks, so hopefully this helped. Be sure to subscribe. I got some really cool stuff coming. Um, as you saw, probably in the background, an exhaust sitting on the ground, so have a uh, video coming on that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.